on to Article 19, shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $650,000 for improvements to streets consisting of paving overlays, adjustments to structures to permit paving, repairs and replacements to drainage, crack sealing, curbing installation, and improvements to the following street. Ann's Lane, Merrill Industrial Drive, and Drakeside Road, including the paving and roadway reconstruction required with the removal of the railroad trestle abutments. Said appropriation to be offset by the State Highway Block Grant estimated to be $307,854. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32-7, Roman 6, and shall not lapse until the projects are completed or by March 31, 2018, whichever occurs sooner, recommended by the Board of Selectmen 401, recommended by the Budget Committee 120. The fiscal impact is uh, 10.4 cents per thousand dollars valuation. Um, is there a motion to open discussion on Article 19? Moved. moved by Mr. Waddell. Is there a second? Seconded by Ms. Barnes. Is there someone who would like to speak to Article 19? Mr. Jacobs. Thank you. Uh, Article 19, improvements for the highway, the highway block grant. Thank you for the slides. Um, what this covers is uh, any of the uh, pavement overlays that we do, uh, any reclamation. We're also using crack sealing. Uh, the bottom slide shows your road very much in need of some crack sealing. We do some minor uh, utility improvements while we're there. We also use it for um, paving repairs, meaning uh, potholes, uh, if you've seen our crews around, during, especially in the springtime after pothole season, uh, we mill them out. We just don't uh, throw a bunch of patch in there and walk away. And uh, we do use this fund for some minor curbing repairs. Um, to develop this fund, it isn't uh, done in a, in a vacuum. There's definitely a CIP list that's put together. I believe it's on the town's website. It's a CIP list that was approved through the uh, Board of Selectmen's direction and then adopted by the uh, planning board. The proposed work for 17 is uh, Ann's Lane, Merrill Industrial Drive, and Drakeside Road. Drakeside Road would be in the uh, immediate vicinity of where the um, railroad abutments are. Uh, the part of the plan uh, is to uh, actually remove the abutments this year, um, and uh, this paving money would be used to resurface after those abutments uh, have been possibly regrading has been completed. Um, I want to remind people uh, prior to, I want to say three, five years ago, um, it, in some respects it was probably willy-nilly where the paving was gone or w where it would be done, where it wouldn't be done. Um, the department develops a plan, we stick to the plan. Uh, as I stated last year at this meeting, if you give us the money, this is the work that we will do. It won't go to something else. It won't be misappropriated. It will be done. Last year, we told you that uh, we do, let's see, Landing Road, Old Stage Road, Acorn Road, and Driftwood. We accomplished all those streets except for Acorn when it was determined that the town does not have a full title to the road. I believe the full title situation, we're trying to address that this year with a uh, street acceptance article later in today's meeting. Uh, for this summer, we have plans for Ann's Lane, Drakeside Road, and the Merrill Industrial Drive based upon the CIP. Um, I'm also looking for them to, oh, by the way, I also put, paved a portion of Heritage Drive last year, uh, last summer about 500 linear feet. It had literally fallen apart during the, uh, the winter of 15-16. Uh, so, um, Another question that's been raised is how come I don't list every, each and every single street within the, the Warren article because it's been interpreted in the past that if I list every single street, well, those are the ones I have to do them in and only the ones I can do, um, but it overly restricts the town's or my department's ability to address situations like Heritage Drive when we find a segment of pavement that falls apart. We're also planning on milling and repaving portions of Hard Arts Way. Uh, as many of you have come down to the transfer station can see, it's, the pavement is suffering terribly. Uh, it's been in there since, what, 94, 95? 
so it's reached its critical useful life. Um, a good portion of it will end up getting milled and then repaved. And we would do any other portions or streets uh, that are determined that didn't make it through the winter. Uh, a good portion of the funding will be used to crack seal uh, some of the major roads, the high streets of the world, um, other major corridors around town so that we can, that's a methodology that we can use to extend the life of the pavement, uh, make uh, this money go further, and uh, hopefully do a better job at planning it out so it all doesn't come due at the same time. And I'd ask for your support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Uh, Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. Uh, I'm 100 percent in, in uh, favor of, of this. I think uh, the scheduled maintenance of all of our roads is an excellent thing. Uh, I rise mainly to ask a question uh, of, through the moderator of the Public Works Director. On Drakeside Road, I'm very happy that the abutments for the uh, uh, old railroad line are finally coming out of there and that that road is going to be leveled off. But I do have a question concerning the drainage. Uh, I know that um, they're not here today, but I know that uh, Ann Russell and Bud Palmer have, have uh, expressed to me a concern about the drainage in that area because it's going to change the topography considerably. It's a big dip and comes back up. And I would just like to have the uh, uh, Public Works Director, if he could, uh, confirm that they are going to address that and that the drainage will be satisfactorily, satisfactory off of their property because there was some concern that it might backflow and flood. So. Mr. Jacobs, uh, could you address Mr. Rice's concern relative to uh, uh, property that abuts the abutments? Yes. Um, I've already had that section surveyed. I know that the area by the Russell property is two feet lower than the west end. Um, we've already looked at what would be a preliminary grade. It's about a 1% pitch. And having met with the Russells probably two summers ago, I know they have a yard drain that comes out towards that side. Uh, so the plan is to have a uniform pitch uh, and drainage ditches uh, down either side. And when we get to the west side, we would then reconnect to the existing drainage that we have there. Um, although a portion of it does have to be replaced because it plugged this earlier this year. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely pick it up. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Jacobs. Uh, Ms. Wolsey. I have a question and an amendment. Um, it's my understanding that the state grant is not contingent upon doing this project. We get the state grant anywhere, anyway, every year, do we not? So that's going to be a question for the town manager. You're saying the reference to the state highway block estimated to 307840 That comes in as revenue, does it not, every year? It is a revenue source for the state. In this case, it's being earmarked in this appropriation. Right, but if we didn't do this project, we would still get that highway block grant, would we not? We would get the highway block grant regardless of whether we did any yes. work or not. It's yeah. supposed to be, under the existing statute, reserved for work on Class 5 highways. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Okay, if I may, uh, go down five lines, Mr. Moderator, where it, the sentence ends with abutments. If I may uh, ask to insert and if any money is left over to improve the next street on the public works list. Sometimes the public questions uh, if an extra street is done when the stipulated streets, these three streets or roads, uh, say, gee whiz, that's not legal, it wasn't noticed, et cetera. Just as a little um, comfort point, perhaps we could reassure the public that they, public works would be authorized to construct on their next street on the list. So I'm going to go back to Mr. Jacobs. I thought his comment was that he had only listed a couple of streets so that to preserve some flexibility to right. uh, address um, events that may happen during the year um, and, um, and also get Mr. Gerald's input as to, uh, as to whether if there was, as Ms. Woolsey um, offer some some extra money um, whether it could be applied to um, do work on other streets and towns or whether we need the language that she has suggested so are we restricted to these three streets and um, if so I have a Woolsey amendment that would uh, allow any surplus to be used for 
additional streets or or not or do we need this uh, I, I I think it could be helpful to include that language okay. if, we, if, if, if you added the words that she articulated on the on the public works list sure. at the end as she said yeah. so she I'll give the amendment to the town clerk so do we have a second on that uh, for that Woolsey amendment second by mr. Plum yep so let's get the language up there and uh, I'm, I'm just reminded uh, that uh, there are times when that list gets amended due to emergency situations, and so perhaps the, the words. Uh, well, that's, that's not the language. In, in that's other words, not, why do you wait, Mark? Wait for the uh, the amendment. Yeah, I think they're getting your uh, your text. So. Well, the fact that it says, uh, would say public work list, I have a list of all the streets. In, in the event of emergencies, however, your list gets uh, superseded, I would expect. But all, <laughs> as, all as, streets are on the list. I think the, I let's think wait the, until it gets written. I, I think the intent is simply to, uh, to allow some flexibility for your department if there's extra money that you could deploy it without any concern that you'd be spending it in an unauthorized fashion. Is that correct? Yeah. This is a helping, as I interpret it, a helping amendment for the department so that if there's any extra money left over from this project that you could deploy it to fix or repair or upgrade other streets in town. All right. So the, the only comment I'm making is that I'm reading exactly how it has been amended. And the way it is written, it says to improve the next street. Right. which would indicate and it's in order and there's reasons roads go ahead and behind. Mm -hmm. I would expect that you could change your list on a daily basis. If there's a wash <laughs> There we go. That's okay. all I'm getting at is that, that there's reasons. There's yeah. there's yeah. reasons we put them on the list. It doesn't say the so, next list as of. Okay. It's, I expect, as you say, Heritage Drive, there. Her, yeah. The yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to take out the capital L, but otherwise I think we have the gist of um, Ms. Woolsey's amendment, uh, seconded by Mr. Plubb. Um, all those in can favor I, of... I speak on the amendment, please? Sure, Ms. Brown. Sorry, just yep. I want to clarify that is to make where it says next on the list. And so long as it, they can change the list, that's fine. Oh, yeah. But I don't want to preclude them from having to do some emergency repairs like they did on Heritage Drive this year where that went to the first yeah. list. No, I think so I just want to understand that and make, make that point clear. Yeah. yeah, I think we're good on that. Okay. Um, so all those in favor of the Woolsey Amendment, raise your voter cards. Thank you. Down cards, any opposed? All right, Article 19 has been amended. The Woolsey Amendment has passed. Any further discussion on Article 19 as uh, amended? Seeing none, Article uh, 19 will go on the ballot as amended by the Woolsey Amendment. Uh